Hello everybody, this is Hannah from Serif. Um, I've put this video together for you to show um, multiplicity images that you can create in PhotoPlus X5. Uh, it was requested by Simon Lambert um, on the Facebook page, so thank you Simon for the suggestion. Um, yeah, so my colleague and I have been down in the Serif reception um, here in the building and we've taken a few shots. It's quite easy uh, to get the shots that you need for a multiplicity image. Obviously the effect comes from um, using the same person or, or object I suppose in one shot. Um, so here's an example of what we ended up with and as you can see there's several shots there of, uh, <clears throat> of my colleague in different areas of reception and to achieve this we simply set a camera up on a tripod put it on a timer or you could use a remote release or ask somebody to, to help and um, move positions between exposures. So the frame never changes, the exposures are the same. So when you layer these on top of each other, you should get um, quite a seamless result. So once you've taken the shots that you want to, um, load them all up into the documents tab here in Photo Plus X5 and decide which image is going to be the um, background or, or base image and um, work from there. So I'm going to choose this one which is um, Ollie in the doorway of reception. And I'm going to choose that because it's the only shot where not only is he in a different position but the door is open and in the other shots you'll see the door is closed. Um, so we need to use that as the base image. So what you need to do is um, select your other images here, go to copy and then reselect your base image, go to edit, paste, and paste as a new layer. And what I found quite helpful was to rename those layers so you know where you are um, when you're working on this later. So just repeat that for all of your images. I'm going to do that really quickly. Okay, so I've put all of my images as new layers onto my background here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five different images all layered up. So the fastest and easiest way that we've discovered that you can do this, if you switch off the other layers so you can see what you're doing. So select any of your layers. Um, make sure the selection brush is highlighted there, you've selected that and simply select the person in the image like this. Doesn't have to be precise. And you might want to um, go up here to select and modify and add some feathering on there. Maybe not too much and come back down to your Layers tab and click on Add Layer Mask. And straight away there, what that's done is masked everything outside of this selection so we can now see behind it and we can see the background there. Uh, do Control D to deselect and let's go up to this next one here and do exactly the same thing. I'm going to do this really quickly, I'm not going to use the feathering. Either select, mask and the other guys just pop through and just go on to each layer and do that one by one. Okay, and there's our last Ollie. Deselect, and we've now got five of him in our one shot. But what you might notice is that down here, we have an issue with a slight overlap between shots. This is quite easy to repair. Um, you need to select the image um, that's interfering with the other one. So in this case, it's where he's reading the newspaper. So select newspaper and go over here to the eraser tool. Make sure that the white is in front here and simply erase that mask away in the area required. I mean, that's just a, a very quick job. 
probably a little bit messy, but uh, okay. Let's pull back, and that looks that looks quite natural there now. So there you go. That's how to produce multiplicity images in um, Photo Plus X Five. It's uh, it's really good fun to try out. It's it's best to do it with a friend if you can, because um, it's easier with the two of you. But uh, yeah, have a go yourself. We'd love to see what you can produce. Thanks for watching.